friends. As you know, I have a French bulldog named Mabel. When we first got Mabel, we were feeding her a limited ingredient diet kibble, but then she had a little bout of pancreatitis, which is usually more common in dogs who are eating too much fat, which might be from getting a lot of table scraps, but that wasn't the case with Mabel because we don't give Mabel table scraps. The only human food we've really given Mabel is raw vegetables or raw fruit. So we're not sure why that happened with Mabel, but we had to switch her to a super low fat diet called Royal Canine. But I'm not a big fan of this brand just because I know they kind of have a deal with veterinarians and so that food gets sold a lot, but it might not be the best for your dog. It does have grain in it, so we weren't a big fan of that. We liked giving her a grain-free diet. So she was on the Royal Canine for a little bit and she's feeling a lot better. So now I'm going to try a raw food diet that is also very low fat from Mabel, which will hopefully help with her stomach issues. I found this recipe because I was doing research online. So this recipe is actually from this Facebook group called Fab Frenchies. I joined that recently and it has a ton of experienced Frenchie owners. I got the recipe and then I asked about Frenchies who have had pancreatitis. So I'm going to edit the recipe a little bit just to make it lower fat based on what those other Frenchie owners recommended. So the first thing I needed was a massive cooking pot. So I ordered one on Amazon. This is a 32 quart aluminum cooking pot, so it holds eight gallons. I have this recipe printed out here. It calls for eight to 10 pounds of meat. It recommends ground beef or ground pork. For a lower fat option, like what I'm doing with Mabel, you can use ground turkey or ground chicken or white fish. And also I'm going to cook all of these things without oil. Some French Bulldogs have trouble with poultry. Luckily, Mabel has never had any allergies with chicken or turkey. I'm going to try today to cook with all turkey. I got all this food from Walmart so I could get it in bulk. First, I got this ground turkey, 93% lean. This is a three pound thing of turkey. This was the last thing they had of it, so I also got this which is 90% lean, and that's another three pounds. And then I got two of these super lean, just pounds of turkey. So this is 98% lean. So I'm going to cook that all in the pot first. I've never cooked this amount of meat at once. And then next I'll be adding vegetables. The recipe calls for 12 ounce bags of frozen peas, frozen carrots, broccoli, green beans, and cauliflower. So I got three bags of each. Some of these vegetables came together, like the peas and carrots, so I just got six of those 12 ounce bags instead of three. Here's all my peas and carrots, and then green beans, three bags of green beans, and then I got six of the broccoli and cauliflower mix. Also got three cans of black beans, and three cans of kidney beans. And I got some more plastic bags, because I'm going to be separating this up so I can freeze it. And this recipe also calls for a side of mashed potatoes. So I got Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, which are 100% mashed potatoes. There's no butter or milk mixed in. The last thing I got was just some Chobani Original Plain non-fat Greek yogurt, just to add a little protein to her meal. As a side note, these vegetables were just all from the frozen section, and I'm not cooking them, I'm just letting them defrost out on my counter, and I'll just mix them right in with the meat. I have eight pounds of ground turkey cooking right now, and while I wait for that, I'm going to rinse off the beans. So the turkey is done cooking. There is a lot of excess grease in there, so we're going to drain that. The excess oil from the turkey is drained now, so now I'm going to add the frozen vegetables which have defrosted on my counter, as well as the six cans of beans. So here is the finished product. If there's any pieces left over that are too big, I'll just tear them up when I feed her dinner. For serving size, Mabel usually gets a cup of kibble in the morning and a cup at night. For this fresh food diet, I'm going to give her a cup and a half in the morning and a cup and a half at night. This is because kibble expands in the stomach. So according to the directions, I'm supposed to increase her food a little bit. And if you feed your Frenchie this recipe, they'll probably start drinking less water than usual. And that's completely normal. It's just because there's a lot of water in the food that you're giving her. This food lasts in the fridge maybe four or five days. So I'm going to measure out how much Mabel will need in four to five days. And then the rest of it I can freeze. So 
here are the finished bags of food. It is almost Mabel's dinner time, so I'm going to put together her first meal of the meat and vegetable mix. I'm going to use a cup and a half. And then I'm going to give her a scoop of the mashed potatoes. And then the last thing that I'm gonna add is a vitamin. It is the Holistic Pet Organics Canine Complete All-in-One Supplement. I got this on Amazon. This one was recommended by the Frenchie owners I talked to. You just put a tablespoon of this on top of the food. The potatoes act as a filler. A lot of dog kibbles use corn or wheat as a filler and neither of those are good for Frenchies. And I almost forgot, lastly, I'm going to add some Chobani Greek yogurt. Did you enjoy it? Mabel cleaned her whole plate and she is a picky eater so she must have really liked it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye!